Junkies. Junkies. Well, one of the things I do remember, uh, I, I forget the the guy that wrote most of the movies. I know it was Chris something. He did not write the he did not write the ninth movie, ironically enough. Mm-hmm. So that may, that may sort of kind of tie into like the inconsistency of this film compared to like trying to follow a lot of stuff but a lot of the com- a lot of the comical stuff to me was like how they how in in an attempt to in an attempt to try to make the rest of the films uh connected especially Tokyo Drift it's still the, like a lot of the retcons are still hilarious to me yeah. because <laughs> it's like, cause it was because it's obviously clearly a retcon it's like dude like no you were dead you were gone. So I so, I accepted the one the big retcon in this one for a certain character. Yeah, I mean, they retcon the retcon. Yeah, when I say they, retcon, they retcon, retcon twice. Because whenever yeah. when Jason Statham showed up, that was a retcon. Big time. Big time retcon. And you missed it because so, you went to the right. bathroom. Yeah, and that we were at the theater, man. I shouldn't have <laughs> I drank a beer. <laughs> and as soon as those credits rolled, I was like, what does GQ always go. say? What does he always say? No, he was drinking in the middle. I was drinking in the middle. Still, like he, well, you got to go before, but I mean, once you've already started drinking, man, yeah. beer will run through you. And there was, that movie, right was, through, that, yeah. that runway in that yeah. movie was long. Yeah. Yeah. So the yeah, long, it was. Yeah. We didn't yeah, talk about that. The longest runway <laughs> ever. <of> any movie <laughs> ever. <laughs> ever. Here's oh, the in, uh, what the was longest, it, six? Oh, uh, no, yeah, that was six. Yeah. The longest runway in the world is less than a mile long. <laughs> and that one was like five. That, yeah, that like one. 10 that, to 15. It seemed yeah, like, that one. Because again, they were going high speed. Yes. So it's like, yeah, that was, chasing was like that chasing was like twenty minutes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, dude. It's like you drive like if you're like going high speed driving a mile, like you pass up a mile in like less than two minutes. Easy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and, and it's just you know, and 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 again, all films do this. They suspend time. They suspend disbelief. They do, they they expect you yeah. to just basically just be in the moment. But it's like this plane's supposed to be taking off, and most runways ain't that long. <laughs> I mean, it, that was just. And I'm sitting in the theater thinking about it. I'm like, that's 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 pretty bad. But it I mean, is, it, it is what it is. Now, here's the funny thing: Fast and Furious Two brought in the majority of the supporting characters. Yep, because it brought in yes. Tyrese's character. It brought Ryan, in Ludacris's, Ludacris's character. character. Yeah, um, mm. it tried to bring in uh, what is her name? Um, Giselle, uh, Ava Mendez. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it tried to bring her in. Oh, just, um, she she became a recurring yeah. character for like one film. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, yeah, because yeah, she worked with Hobbs apparently. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so two brought in brought oh. in a decent amount of characters, and obviously four brought in the rest. Now four and five. Well, four and five. Yeah, because five when I was watching that back. And seeing Gal Gadot for the first time, how in the hell she knew Dom? She was in the fourth. No, movie. no, no. She was what, in the fourth. You, one. Was she in the fourth? She was movie? in the fourth. Yeah. One. How did you miss mm-hmm. that? I, I didn't she was the quote unquote supposed you know new love interest because Letty was dead. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I remember God, now. Yeah. I remember you now. No, I remember now. I, re- I remember now. I remember now. I remember. Wow. Now. Yeah, like now. the thing is about four. Like even though like four sort of kind of brought the series like kind of back around like yeah. it wasn't a lot of stuff that was memorable in the four and, and four like I don't braga remember. as a name was cool but braga yeah, as braga. a villain was yep. shit yeah, King, King, King nah. yeah. Up braga Gail Gadot worked for braga yeah but she was probably undercover mm-hmm. you know because everybody's undercover <laughs> everybody's undercover. right yeah no um Everybody recruited by Mr. Nobody at some point during the series <laughs> hey, <laughs> so, Kurt Russell is Mr. Nobody is awesome though that well, Kurt is, Russell's awesome. Is, is, period. Kurt Russell's so awesome. Period. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Mr. Nobody is. is Hand of Omega is 100 percent right. Ramsey, Ramsey, is, Ramsey, Ramsey is, is probably is the hell. best looking person out of that. Yeah, Sound like a whole lot of vaginal activity to me. That shit was awesome. <laughs> that was an awesome ass line that he had. Right. That was an awesome line. Anyway, so let's let's put it on the table. All right, out of all mm-hmm. ten of the movies, even including Hobbs and Shaw, mm-hmm. which one? Which ones would you, if you were to rank your top three? Around the table, gentlemen. Which would what would you pick? Top three. Is I'm Rock even still alive? I haven't heard from one, him in like two and there he is. Tokyo would be one, two, and Tokyo. Answer. I mean, really? so just so just, so really just in order of the first. Oh, like, that's, 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 he's a, like, he's a, he's a fan of the street fans. race. Okay, yes. what? No, explain yes. that. So you said you said the reason why is because what? <clears throat> like at that point, I was in Indianapolis 
out here where people just race like 465 Tuesday and Thursday nights. They let you race at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway for seven to 15 bucks, depending on what you wanted to do. And I was about oh, that shit. life. Hey, that was kind of cool. cool. All right. Yeah. Like I actually like did it. So when the All movies right, so happened, what, what I was, was you, like, what was, oh, dri- shit. what was you driving at the time? Yeah. Um, at that point, I had a 99 Mercury Cougar. I had a dude that was doing a bunch of work to it. I didn't understand what he was hey, doing. Man. I was just ballsy enough <laughs> I, to I, drive I, it. I showed no thought um, he was about to say uh, a Lancer Evo or something, man. <laughs> no, no, no. I, no. Knew, I, I just knew he was going to say that. It was a Cougar. It was one of the, the, the newer body ones. The so 99 it looked like Cougar a actually looked kind of cool. Like, yes. It was bright red and shit. I had my bright red sports car. Okay. Um, it was almost but, like American Rice Rocket looking. Mm. Yeah. 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 But it was it was crazy because at the time I was like super young and worked at Walmart and people were like, "How did you afford this car?" I was like, "It's a it's a Ford." When you yeah. down to it, and they just didn't <laughs> understand that. <laughs> but um, like I actually like did that shit. Like I was about the music. We actually did have meets where we would just line up cars and there was just lights and music oh, okay. and shit all over the place. Oh no, they've so done like they, they used to do that out here. Like oh, not yeah, too far time. from where Dido used to live. Oh, t- dude, it was walking distance yeah. and it was illegal street races. They weren't. I don't know what you call it. <laughs> no, no, we did both. No, no, no. I'm not saying it did. I'm just saying I'm that still was afraid. You know, if they were following me, but you know, sorry. me growing up because Damn. it was uh, in the street called Plymouth, and mm. Plymouth by the uh, going over uh, Rouge River is a dip. So it's like a natural dip that comes up. So it's like how uh, drag street uh, drag racing was. So if you, when you get your quarter mile in, mm. it's easier to you know come to the end because you're going uphill or whatever. Mm-hmm. And people, I I always heard it. But I never really walked there. I went one time, and the time I went out there, the cop showed up. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes, of course. Yeah. Of course. And they were talking about whose car am I taking tonight, and everybody just scattered like, So oh what's, your, what's your three? <clears throat> That's difficult for me. I mean, I like the first one because it does set up a lot of the stuff. Did it age well? I don't know. I got to go back and watch it. Two and three, not so much. So we have to go on the bottom of the list, not because they weren't good movies, and I like the atmosphere that – that they brought, but the atmosphere was <clears throat> not even what the movie was about. It was small, small, you know, very small. So I'd probably say one, mm. five, most definitely, because five got me back into watching the franchise. And I don't know the, the third one is it's just a toughie because after <clears throat> five, they all feel more like <clears throat> chapters of one long movie instead of different <clears throat> movie because they all work together well to me. Mm. So, okay. All right, yeah, so you're saying basically, one. so you say five and one. Or five and one, I love, and then <laughs> everything after five. Okay. Five, I pretty right. much like. GQ, what about you? <laughs> one, five, Hobbs and Shaw. Eh, can't go wrong with that. That's good. Yeah, because, I mean, one, like like Dido said, it sets up everything, get, introduces you to the universe. Five uh, was where they just basically shifted gears. I'm a big, huge dad pun, but shifted gears <laughs> and uh, went, from being, <laughs> went from being like the underground street thing to like 18, basically. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then. You know, Hobson Shaw was as Hobson Shaw was as fun. Cause it was fun. Hobson Shaw before nine was the most outrageous thing. Oh yeah, and then nine was like, oh, hold my beer, like, <laughs> like we, we about to we about to take this beyond yeah, what y'all expected. So because I was gonna say Hobson Shaw, but then I just didn't want to like. But there's no, there's no harm in it. Well, yeah. I think, yeah, I I think say, oh, for I'm... me, Hobson Shaw because I like both of those characters. Yeah, yeah like I do those too. like both of those characters yeah. just work. Now here's the thing. The Rock did a complete 180 in his character because in five he didn't give a damn. He really did. He was just, he Aww. was damn near an, an antagonist. He was like an anti-hero, so yep. to speak. <clears throat> and then by the time the sixth and seventh one came around, he kind of you know lightened up. And he became like, fa- he became family. That's what yeah, happened. Yeah, basically, uh, he became family. <laughs> I, I, dog, the shit he did to Tyrese's character to to uh, to Roman. At the at the picnic, oh my god! Oh, dude, that was that was an ad lib uh, line. That shit was so awesome. What was the line? <laughs> it's like okay, because Tyrese I was love. supposed to say, "Here comes a, here comes you know here comes Hyde's better hide your baby oil," and then Rock wasn't supposed to say nothing, but he's the Rock, All so right. it's like he's like, "You better hide that big ass forehead," <laughs> and he just he threw it out there, and Ludacris actually did a spit take because it wasn't it wasn't written, it was just like. So you can't I say that stuff against the Rock. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he just threw it out there, and it was just like. Damn, just, and they left. That was like, that was the take like, they took. We're keeping that. We're keeping yeah, that. Because it was just like it was like it was so hilarious. Yeah, it's like what are you gonna say to that man? <laughs> it was that so was that was hilarious. legitimately good, dude. And, uh, <laughs> and, I mean, just the way Rock did it without skipping a beat, dog. It was just like he immediately fired back right. at that shit. It's, it's, but it's like, like you're not like talking that man. Right? It's like you're not gonna out talk him. 
forget it. Yeah, it's right. not gonna Hannah would make it sure. Charlize Theron was pretty hot in this too. Wonder if she's related to Secret Baddies. Uh, she might be. Yeah, she could be. Um, here's the interesting thing could about be. that. There is a super duper parallel, and again, it has to do with Vin Diesel being the producer and and you know kind of the the godfather of the Fast and Furious franchise. If you look yeah. at the most recent Triple X film they did, the Xander Cage one, mm-hmm. Fast oh. and Furious, is, and 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 how and I'm sorry, the uh, Fast Fast and Furious up to this point and then Triple X are very similar. Very. Because, I had it. They, no, sh- they okay. should have never made that third movie. <laughs> well, that third movie was fun. I didn't care. Go ahead. I was sitting in a theater and I was thinking, what if Triple X was just. The witness protection program for Dom <laughs> when he was high. They're, right. the, they're the same right. character, just one guy. Yeah, and they were just like, it was like, because like I was saying, like, what if they were really trying to write all these movies yeah, for Triple nice X? No, that's a nice. But theory. then they didn't. They didn't because they said, "Well, we can make more money with Fast and right. Furious." That's like, a nice theory. But the crazy thing is, look yeah. at look at the parallels between the two plots, though. They literally was like, it's you. They can line a, up at any time. Yeah. They yeah, the lyric could line up at any time. It was crazy. <laughs> and then, and again, it, it, Dom doesn't even have plot armor with the stuff he gets out. He has producer armor. Mm-hmm. That's what he has. It's like, yeah, it's like, yeah I'm Man. just going to let myself in to be invincible. Yeah. So for me, um, so, my favorite three are uh, five. Five is just number one for me because it's just, it's, it's so rewatchable. Mm-hmm. Uh, five and one, because like everybody said, it sets everything up. It kind of starts the franchise. And it's still a decent enough movie, even compared to the others. Mm-hmm. And uh, the last one, probably on my list, uh, I don't know. It, it might have to be eight, because them going, uh, them facing Evil Dom was actually kind of cool. <laughs> so, in other words, <laughs> yeah. your favorites Evil are the ones Dom. that you've actually seen. Okay. <laughs> no, no, I've seen, okay, I've seen pretty games. much all of them. Are you sure? You, yeah, I've you seen Hobbs and Shaw. I did show, like Hobbs and Shaw. Before the show, <laughs> this gentleman sitting across from me said, I uh, have, yeah, so I watched the first one. I wasn't really feeling the second one. You know, I didn't even see the second one. I didn't see the third one. No, I didn't. I don't know if I saw the fourth one. I did see the fourth one. Like- <laughs> no, I saw the fourth one. Saw the fifth. Saw the sixth. Saw the uh-huh. seventh. Saw the eighth. Saw Hobbs and Shaw. Uh-huh. I liked all of them, but the eight to me, them fighting Evil Dom, I thought was actually. Oh no, cool. I agree. Yeah. I, I, I've always liked the turn one character yeah. evil, and again, it's turn him out of all of them out evil the kind of work. Yeah, yeah. Because it was like, what in the world? could possibly make him turn on everybody that's what exactly. got my attention it was me just too like, me too I was like, How's man? okay now i gotta right. see what's going on yeah and then they like yeah. it's funny y'all say that because i didn't buy that for one bit even though that's what they were going with <laughs> that's, i just wanted but, to know why yeah me too but but they they gave the reason why and it was plausible it was like okay fine i, mm-hmm. I can roll with that that's yeah that, that's fine i get that so uh i know for me um for me it's five one and two Five, one, and two. Uh, All right. Okay. Uh, five for obvious reasons because like that was kind of when it. We all said it switched gears at that point, pun intended. And it, it, overall, it was fun. The action was good. Characters were pretty cool, you know. And obviously, seeing you know Rock kind of coming along and being a badass in the series that it was, it was like okay, I, I, like I'm feeling this. This is different, but I'm digging it. Yeah. So with the first one, I mean. Uh, aside from it setting a lot of stuff up, I mean, it might be one of the few one of the few movies that relied more on practical stunts as mm-hmm. opposed to uh, which one? The first one. Oh yeah, definitely. They didn't, they didn't so, have like, no budget for nothing else. Right. So like, I, I I really appreciate the first one because like, there's a lot of practical stunts in it that I thought were pulled off really well. And you know, again, it was point break, but with cars. So like, it, it was it was cool in that sense. Yeah. The second one, it's nostalgic and it's funny. <laughs> like that, like that, and the fact that anytime like I see movies with Tyrese in it during that time or whatever, I automatically think Baby Boy. <laughs> and it's just, <laughs> and it's just like fair. it's like it's like, dude, this is. Definitely early 2000s Here's right now. Here's the funny oh, thing, though. <laughs> Not only was Tyrese in it, obviously Ludacris is in it. You also had Michael Ely in yes. it, too. Yeah. You had, like, three yeah. young black actors, mm-hmm. like, in that film. Yeah. Like, Man, he disappeared. Ely and Suki. Yeah. 
They never brought. Yeah, they never brought those two characters back. Ilya is still doing is doing stuff. No, no, no. no, no, We're talking about within within terms within terms of the film, the character. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah. yeah. Like they 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 were just kind of just throwaway characters apparently to according to producers. I guess they were like. I mean, yeah. Ted was the only important character out of that whole group. Hey, we hope you enjoyed that clip. Make sure you check out our live content on Twitch. It's twitch.tv slash culture junkies. We also have a lot of content available on YouTube, unboxings as well as Blu-ray reviews. And you can support us on Patreon, patreon.com slash culture junkies. And on top of all of that, if you go to culturejunkies.net, you can check out our merch store. The link is culturejunkies.net slash merch. There's a lot of great merchandise there. So there's links and logos and stuff all around me. So check those out and we will see you next time.